Hi, Mark here from mieccctv.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to back up your footage using Internet Explorer and then convert this footage using VS Player. Uh, the reason for conversion usually is due to if the footage needs to be distributed to a third party such as the police and they might not necessarily have VS Player installed on their systems and the file that comes natively from the height vision recording units tends not to play back in standard media players due to the codecs it requires. So first thing that we're going to need to do is actually clip a small video from a recording unit and then we're going to go ahead and show you how to convert it. So what you need to do is you'll need to run uh, Internet Explorer. It has to be uh, Internet Explorer. You can do it on other web browsers but this does work the most effectively. We want to right click on Internet Explorer and make sure that we run it as the administrator. This is a little quirk that allows Internet Explorer to write the files. If you try and do this without running it as administrator, the files actually won't successfully download. Once we've fired up IE, we need to go ahead and uh, log in to our DVR or NVR over the network. So we just go to its address and then use its normal login credentials. We're now going to go to the playback tab. And then what you need to do is look for the uh, piece of footage that you require. I mean, this is best used if you just need to get a small clip off. It's not best if you're getting large amounts of data off. But if you just need a small clip and you know exactly when it was, you can use this to navigate to the appropriate date and time and the appropriate camera, clip the file and easily convert it for quick distribution. So... We know the time of the file that we want, so we're going to uh, enter it here on the right and jump to it. So it's at 9.47 here. And basically, once you started playing back, to the right-hand side, there's a little pair of scissors that we've just pressed, and this starts clipping the file. They're now highlighted in red. Once you're happy with the clip, we can click the scissors again, and you'll see it gives a file path in the bottom right-hand corner. If you click this file path, it will then display you the file. As you can see, if we try and run this file, it will not play natively in Windows Media Player. So in order to play this back, if we hit start and go to VS Player. Now I'll include a link for VS Player in the description. Now to play this file back, you can simply drag the file into the left hand window. And now this file will play back in VS Player. Unfortunately, not everyone will have VS Player installed. So what we're going to go ahead and show you now is how to convert the file. So if we click down on the toolbox at the bottom and then click convert, we can then drag the file into the toolbox. As you can see, it's appeared there. We want to ensure that it's outputting as an MP4 format. And then we're just going to change the file path as to where it's outputting to. This is the same file path as where the file currently is, just for ease. Once this is done, you can click start at the bottom. This is only a small clip, so it's done instantly. But as you can see now, it's giving you a preview. If you double click it, it will then play you back the video using Windows Media Player. So that's it really. You can now put that to your removable media, burn it to a CD, do whatever you wish for it. And that completes today's video tutorial. Uh, don't forget, make sure you smash the like button on this video. It really helps out on YouTube. The more you do that, the more our videos will be distributed, which really helps us out. And if you liking our tutorials, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.